Good. So Akur is in. And just keep trying to find able bodies because they're running out of them. Barron goes for it, can't get the steal. Memo for three. He got the memo. <laughs> Well, Kerr knocks down only his second three ball of the season. It was a very errant pass. Well, Kerr gets it back. A little size advantage over Bledsoe. Bell to Williams against Gordon. Griffin flying at the shooter and gets the foul. 80% foul shooter. An all-star. A few years ago, free throw, tried to walk it in, and he does. Uh, he, he was pointing out the, the right Achilles, the left ankle, and I said, you can't. Remember when Jerry Sloan first got him, and he said, you're going to have to make a lot of threes, young man, to convince me that a guy your size can shoot threes. And Sloan said, okay, I'm convinced. Ralph has entered the ball game again. Okur going to the hole, reaching foul against Aminu. From such an injury. And that was Okur outside to Watson. Memo for the Utah Jazz has been much more stagnant tonight. Much final possession now for the Utah Jazz with time winding down. And one of those things they've been avoiding too, Ralph, is one of those sub-20 quarters during this last little run. Memo for three. Oh, they didn't grab the back. rebound. That's a killer. Box out and go get the ball. The quarter's not over. The lead is 11 with three seconds to go. Here comes Ari Gordon from midcourt. So a terrible third quarter for the Los Angeles Clippers. A dynamic one for the Utah Jazz, who outscored the Clippers in the period 30 to 13. Yikes.